Um, Susan. I think the flavor of it is really quite delicious. The garnish is not exactly what I would do. I like it more based on the chocolate and the espresso okay. and the caramel itself. But the flavor is quite nice. Thank you. It's a yes for me. Ooh. By the way, Aaron. I'm shocked that you were able to get that much flavor in that custard, to be honest. That is the obvious star of this dessert. For me, I think there's enough flavor here, enough of that sort of passion for your dessert making that I'm going to say yes. Thank you. Two yeses. Um, Joe, please. I, I'm having a little more difficulty with this dish because for me, it's really about tasting the bitterness of coffee. And I don't feel that this dessert has that component. I think the custard tastes goopy kind of like Elmer's glue with, with coffee syrup in it. So for me, it's a no. Okay. We have two yeses, one no. I guess it's all up to you, Gordon. What do you think? Visually, it had that wow factor. It does need a sponge to lighten the load because it's very sweet. Okay. I would have dropped that caramel. It didn't really need it. It needs more bitterness. Um, it's a tough one. I feel like it was a great dish. Two of the judges really liked it. I'm not going to stop cooking. I'm going to keep going. Oh. We're proud of you. Thank yeah. you. We're expecting a lot from these yeah. West Coast cooks. It's a tough one. At this point, we have to be really selective. Yeah. vacation destination, but that's not true. Yes. So I'm really excited to represent. Aloha. My name is Madame Donut. I'm 48 years old, and I'm from Maui, Hawaii. I'm the queen of donuts. <laughs> I really am. About 10 years ago, I started a donut shop. I make everything from scratch. I even make my own sprinkles. However, it's time to show everybody that I'm very multi-layered and I can do so much more than donuts. So today, I'm making an ahi tuna musubi with crispy sushi rice and the soy gastric. I want to show the world how elevated a convenience food can be. Here we go. Aloha. Oh, hello, how are you? Aloha, Aloha, how are you? Hello. Great to meet you. Well, what are we making here? I came here to represent Maui. So I'm making a musubi. A Hawaiian staple, yeah. Exactly. Yes. Traditionally, it's made with spam. I'm using ahi. OK, do you think you have enough ele elevation to get you one of those coveted aprons? 100%. You're cooking against maybe cooks from Southern California, Portland, Oregon. And then you have Hawaii, which is cool, but it's not the first place I think of when I think of food, quite yes. frankly, because. Joe, look at this. I, it's a, Orderly. Uptown. Excellent. I like that. That's sass. I'm here to change your mind. All right. Good luck. So just, yeah, I like the fact that you're tasting. That's awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Cool. All right. My dish has a lot of components. The rice for sure has to be cooked right. The fish has to be cooked right. I don't want to overcook the fish. And also just representing all the colors of the ingredients that I brought in. Come on. I closed my donut shop to be here because I want that apron. 20 seconds. Come on. Oh my god, I don't know where to put things. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. I didn't I didn't get everything in there. My dish turned out 90% of how I wanted it to be. Some components I didn't get on the plate, the dragon fruit dressing and the pickled ginger. But I'm really hoping that the judges will really see the potential and the magic on this plate to give me the apron. Welcome. Aloha, chefs. Uh, you Aloha. look amazing. Uh, give us an insight. Your name, where you're from? I'm Madame Donut. Madame what? Donut. Don't. 
Donut? Y yeah, like a donut. Madam Donut. I, I literally changed my name. Normally I'm calling individual donuts. Now you've been asked to be called a donut. <laughs> it's not a compliment when he <laughs> says it, right? You know that. I know, I know, and I don't mind. <laughs> OK, what's the dish, please? Um, I live on Maui, and I'm representing Hawaii on this plate. So this is an ahi musubi with crispy sushi rice and soy gas treat to go with it. OK. Rice. I love how this dish represents you. It's yes. colorful, it's vibrant. I know there's going to be a little bit of spice and a little bit of that, that sort of sassiness and flavor. I'm curious about the negative space. You left half of the plate empty. I wanted to put pretty dots of the dragon fruit dressing. You ran out of time? <sighs> yes, sorry. It's kind of like I'm on Hawaiian time and I'm trying to kick my butt to kind of get into <laughs> gear. You're on mainland now. But let me tell you something. You got to make it happen in the 45 minutes that you have. I know. Shall we? Mm. Um. You need three yeses to get your hands on an apron. Um, that's a tough one. You need three yeses to get your hands on an apron. Um, let me tell you something. Tuna's cooked beautifully. Thank you. Rice needs to be a little bit more crispier, if I'm honest. That's a tough one. For me, it's a no. Yes. Go back to Maui. 